Welcome to Park Review, a show where I review parks. In today's episode, we do Caloosahatchee Regional Park. This park has several trails. We ended up doing all of them except the green one, which ended up being about three miles. We started on the blue loop straight from the parking lot, and it was a nice little walk to the river where the trails split off and went in different directions. Oh, yes. We started off on the Shoreline Trail, which was um, one way in and back, so not a loop like the rest of them, but it was nice nonetheless. There was a little bit of water, but nothing like what was to come, and it was along the river the whole time, so it was a pretty nice walk. There were families and you know, people pushing children in strollers, so it was really nothing too crazy, and it ended up at a kayak canoe launch, so we just dipped our feet in the water because it was very hot out, beware, and then headed back for the blue trail, to go back on the blue trail, which was also along the river for quite a while until it eventually split off right here. Initially, I thought all the different trails would be pretty similar, but they actually had some different aspects to each of them. So the blue part of the trail had a lot of boardwalks, some little spots along the river. This was probably the last time that we saw the river, for a while at least, if not the whole time. So you could go that way to loop back on the blue trail or keep going the other way that we're about to go for the orange trail, which is going to be a lot longer. So we went on the orange trail and something kind of distinct about the orange trail was just super grassy walkway yeah, and you know, lots of greenery around. Then at this point, we are going on to the yellow trail now, which was very similar at first with the super grassy green area walking trail. And then we got to the water and that was definitely the distinct part of this trail. We had to walk through some fairly deep waters It wasn't anything too crazy, but it was splashing up to our shorts at some point, so. Oh my goodness. At this point, the trail begins to loop back around, and so it meets up with the horse trail here, which you can actually go back out to... Oh, we already did the a little area where you can see the water, which is really nice. But you have to go back the other way to okay, continue the on the yellow That's trail, fun. which is right next to this ridge, I guess, which kind of goes into oh, the bad. abyss. Definitely Gator Country. Right there is a fire line for when they do prescribed Let's burns, so it won't hop and burn everything down. And you'll see a bit later we That's that we trail. accidentally ended up on that part of the trail, which is not part of a trail. So, here's me just showing how deep it goes, although you definitely can't tell on video. Oh, it's so. And eventually, we make it back in um, other to places loop around. Too. The poles made it very easy to follow until we got to this point. Oh. This is where we started to lose track. You could see those two bikers, which told us to go that way. And we chose to go instead this way, which was the fire line. And if we had gone the other way, we would have stayed on the correct trail. Now we are, but but eventually we, we made it back, as you can yeah. see. Like when we we had to get back onto the blue loop to get where That's we were supposed to go. It was um, mildly confusing, but we eventually made it back to the parking lot. Overall, it was a nice park. One benefit for sure was it had bathrooms and little awnings for picnics. Lots of wildlife, you know, lizards, t- 
tadpoles. Um, we even saw hogs, or heard hogs, I should say. And lots of bugs, of course. Can't avoid those in Florida. But overall, I would probably give the park an 8 out of 10. It was really solid, nice for walking and fishing, but that's about all.